because we have seen great leaders, uh, FDR, Margaret Thatcher, Ronald Reagan, Winston Churchill, we've all witnessed their um, their physical decline and we, we witnessed their mental decline. But we're witnessing this with Donald Trump as well, but we're also witnessing a spiritual decline. Uh, he, This is a man who is um, degraded uh, and he debases, he, he talks about this ac- epidemic uh, as if it were to a war, and it is a war, but he's abandoned the field. It's a dereliction of duty. Everything we would do to fight a war in the conventional sense, this president has decided to completely ignore. And we are paying for it with lives and treasure because of what we uh, have lacked in preparation, what we continue to do lack in preparation. There will be a second wave. We don't have to guess about this, and it is coming. And it won't be in blue America like in New York City or Baltimore or the other cities. They've already been hit hardest in the blue America. It will be in red America. It will be in rural America, in counties that many of us have never heard of. And the likelihood there is you will know someone who is affected. You will know someone who who will have died. And we are giving the wrong information. Uh, Think how wrong Dr. Brooks's model was that we this she revised her models down to 60,000 dead. Well, today we will pass 100,000 dead and it is only the beginning of the summer. And we must uh, double down and rely on our governors, I guess, to prepare because red America, rural America, where Trump voters live, is going to be hit next, and it's going to get hit hard.